A follow up tonight, water woes continuing in Gold Hill. As contractors make headway on infrastructure improvements, new problems are cropping up and the repair costs are draining the budget. That's left council members scrambling to find more money. And residents aren't happy to hear that funding fixes may fall on them. We do need to talk, so yeah. if it's not going to be today, we need to know when. A handful of Gold Hill residents came to a special meeting of the city council in hopes of addressing their concerns of what they call a lack of communication. I had to find out about the boil order on social media. As well as rising water rates. That's yeah. one of our concerns. I understand. We're already above what we can That's true, we absolutely are. The council is considering raising rates as they try to grapple with failing infrastructure that is 70 to 80 years old. The sewer lines and the water lines are too close together. Consequently, a recent sewer project aimed at making some of those improvements has caused a ripple effect of water main breaks and boil water advisories that's causing headaches for residents. Is there funds to No. No. We have not done due diligence with regard to operations and repairs and money has not been set aside. We're having to do that now and, and there's a lot of um, unhappy reaction from the community and I don't blame them. The people that live here now get to pay for what hasn't been done for the last 30 years and that's not right. Cliff Mead says poor planning by previous city leadership means residents will have to take the hit, though the city says they're exploring all options. We're looking to get some help from the feds and the state we're also having to look at rate increases. The more they borrow, the more we have to pay back. I mean, somebody has to pay for it, I, I agree, but uh, somebody's got to be held accountable. I don't know why it's us now. Who do you think should be held accountable? I think the city should be held accountable. They're the ones who allowed this to happen. The public can weigh in on the recent water issues at the next council meeting on November 7th. As for the current safety of the water, there is still bottled water available at City Hall in the case of another boil water advisory. But the city says all of the water tests taken so far have come back negative for anything. As for the cloudiness or unusual look of the water that was seen in pictures, we went to the folks at Southern Oregon Water Technology. The cloudiness in the water is air. With plastic caps, you have static charge. So plastic is going to retain those bubbles where glass is not. Bunker says flushing your lines is the best way to get air out, but she says when you have an entire system shut down, it can take thousands of gallons of water moving through the system to get all of the air out.